What's up guys, Danny TV here and today's a very exciting day. I should be able to get this Jeep rolling on its own today. I want to try to slap the axle under it. First of all, we got the gearbox on. We've got our power steering hose. We've got the clips in and uh, we've got most of our wiring tucked away and clipped on. So I'm draining the oil. It's about done here. We're going to replace the drain pan so that we can install our new axle since it's a lot easier with the axle out. get the new gasket and new oil pan and we'll see you in just a second we got our surface nice and clean it actually looks nice and clean inside I don't see any kind of shavings or anything on the bottom of this oil pan the only thing I did notice was that the timing chain was a little loose run down to the parts store you tell them the vehicle you got they tell you that they got the gasket in stock you come home just to find out that it's about two inches too long on both ends a little annoying I'm gonna have to run back to the parts store and see if they got the correct size in in stock um, I'm actually gonna bring my oil pan this time let me go run back down to the store and get the correct one for this Jeep so that we can install this oil pan and start working on the axle. It's taking a little longer than I wanted. Stay tuned. Went to a few local parts stores. This is what they call the oil pan gasket around this to the block. So for the lower one, neither uh, O'Reilly's or AutoZone was pulling that up. So um, I don't want to wait until getting it from the dealer. I'm pretty sure they use a... Uh, uh, gasket maker uh, a high temp silicone for this so that's what we're gonna do uh, for now we're just gonna put a gasket maker get this sealed off put some oil in it and get on it with the axle okay so we got our mega black silicone gasket maker here so we applied a 1 8 
bead all the way around. We're going to let that sit for about 10 minutes. While we wait on that, we're going to go ahead and install the two lower control arms so that once this uh, once we get this pan on and everything hopefully we can get the axle on it's getting dark on us pretty quick some bad news guys it's really pissing me off um, that I didn't really check or measure it but looks like uh, we ordered the wrong drain pan for this thing so uh, I think the depthness here that it's not as deep as the, the original because it's hitting this uh, suction pump whatever this is called um, it's hitting the bottom of that before it reaches the top of the block so I'm really pissed off and disappointed. I will not be able to finish this off today, but that's all right. We've got other things to do, so we'll be ready to put this in the garage next week. I'm still going to get the correct one ordered as soon as possible and get this installed so that we can put the axle. It's all right. We got other things to do, so we're just going to start on uh, control arm brackets. We're going to go ahead and hang him so that as soon as we get the axle up here, we could just adjust the length of on the control arms and get the axle attached. We'll install our axles, which I have to pop out the sill here because of this glide pin here. So if you know what this is for here, let me know in the comment section below. This is what it looks like. We've got some good progress on this axle. We're actually done with it. This is the finished product. We're putting some final touches on it and we'll be ready to install it. We'll go ahead and sand this around and get this surface smooth here so that we can install it. Guys, I'm really pleased on how great this axle looks. The main big thing that I'm glad we, I got over with is these ball joints. They were a pain in the butt to get those out, even with the puller. We've got the housing clean with some brake cleaner. It's nice and dry. We uh, used the air blower to dry everything out and blow any kind of loose particles in there. So we can pretty much eat off of this. So um, Poison Spider actually provides the silicone but we do have a new gasket so I applied a little bit of uh, this silicone to help me uh, keep the gasket in place you don't have to use it but if you got it go ahead and put some more 